Hey guys, in this tutorial, we'll discuss about the difference in setting up ADX native with a fluid size versus a standard size. First, let's review a little bit on creating an ad exchange line item. So in order to add the programmatic native demand from ad exchange, aside from defining your standard size units, you also have to add native native. But of course, don't forget the line item type will have to be ad exchange. Now, in this example, let's say you're done setting up all your ad exchange line items. You have all these ad sizes defined plus native native. Now, you're not complete with the process yet unless you create your, you create your native styles. So when you go to delivery native, click on create native ad. Here you will have to select whether to use the guided design editor, which is a simplified setup and a lot easier than HTML and CSS editor. This one requires a little bit of coding. And then you have the option for Android and iOS app as well. Let's do the guided design editor. Here, give it a name. So let's say you want to do this for 300 by 250 underscore, let's say this is content for the format. And then here's the ad size. Now, if you do the standard size, you don't have to change anything in your ad unit code setting or ad unit settings. But if you do fluid, it will require some changes. Now let, let me explain that to you in a bit. And don't forget, of course, when you click next, you're able to design or tweak some of the settings on how the native ad looks like by clicking on some of the options in here, play around it. When you click continue, you have to explicitly target the ad units. So this is the only difference with native because unless you specifically target the inventory here, then programmatic native won't work. So target your placement or your ad units here. Say you just want to target the whole DFP account, all the inventory, you can do that as well. Or if you want specific ad units, then search for them here. You also have the option to specifically target geos or target everything. The same with device, operating system, and some other custom targeting or key values. Now, as soon as you save this, let's just go ahead and confirm. So if you create standard sizes, then you have to make sure you create at least one native style for each size. If you do fluid, you can target all your inventory with it. But you have to make sure on your inventory settings and add units, let's say this is your add unit, you will also have to edit the size and make sure you add fluid. Which means, because we did that, let me go ahead and save it for now. If we generate the tag for this, GPT, all other settings, continue, and there you go. You will notice that part of the sizes in your code has fluid as well. So if you already have your ad unit deployed on the page and you decided to run fluid size native ad, you will have to add this size in your code, and that's in the header. But if you did the regular size or the standard size native style, you do not, you do not even have to do this anymore because it will automatically fill native demand on those standard sizes that you already run on your ad units. And of course, native will also compete with all other demand, like standard display, in banner videos. And so you have the option whether to go the fluid route or the standard size route. Just remember that with fluid, you will have to add that size in your ad unit settings in order for it to run. But with fluid, it can serve you know multiple ad sizes within the container for as long as it fits the 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 ad container size. So that's the only difference there. If you want, do an A-B test 
do fluid, compare with the standard sized native styles, and see which one works better. So how to run that report? You go to reports and queries. You can do new query. And then for the dimensions, you can actually select native style name. So if you create one native, styles for, one native style for fluid, another native style for the standard sizes, you're able to run the report for them here and compare which one works better. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.